Welcome back. Let's do it. There was a lamp there. Hmm. Oh yeah, sorry my bad. I wasn't paying attention. It's that time. God, I'm so off track. It's that time to hunt. You're not afraid that vampires may appear? Mr. Reviel, why are you? I can be wherever I want, can I? Well, I can't disagree with that. Um, um. Can I join you up there? Do whatever you want. At any rate, this is your home, no? Bottles of water are popping. It's popping off. Uh, yes, you're right. I'll now go up. Do it. You won't. Oh, there's a ladder there. I guess you will. A lot of things certainly happened today. Hmm. Oh. Midia is apparently fine now. Her fever appears to have gone down considerably. In fact, as if her suffering was all a lie. Um... I truly have to thank you for all that you've done. I can't imagine what would have happened without you. <sighs> Unlike you, I still have a long way to go. You see, my dream is to become a traveling doctor. When I was very young, I was vulnerable to diseases. I had a frail body and weak immune system. As a result, I contracted different kinds of illnesses and had to consult a respectable doctor for treatment. Well, as you know, this is just a small village, so it hasn't had any local doctors back since back then. And I can't tell you how grateful I was on occasions when a respectable tra traveling doctor who I became fond of came. I want to be like that traveling doctor one day. Especially like the one store. Be that help to people that can get that help. So I studied hard and even learned an art of self-defense that I could travel abroad safely. But after the day, I realized that I'm not good at anything. Be it medical or fighting skills. I have no talents. Well, I wonder about that. I don't know what you're thinking, but just do whatever you want. After all, so he's come. Huh? When a curse is inflicted on a person, it is removed. When a curse inflicted on a person is removed without the consent of the ringleader behind the curse, there's a possibility that he'll head to where the person is to find out why. You've thought about that, haven't you? Ah, uh, you mean a vampire's here? Five Dark Disciples. <laughs> As if I can't handle all of them. You can even use your poor mind control skill for all I care, vampire. After all, you're but an opponent who's more worthless than I would imagine. So I'm not a vampire, I'm... a vampire slayer. The other slayer might be a problem because... they would get to the vampire. Wait, Mr. Reviel! First, I'll go as well. Alright. Oh! Small fries. Vampire, do you seriously think these good for nothings are a match for me? You really are a worthless vampire. <sighs> Mr. Reviel, are you a. No way! Why are all these villagers. Don't tell me! They were controlled by Maxwell! No, these are. 
damn small fry. But wait! Uh, he's controlled by Maxwell, right? In that case, there has to be a way to, to turn him back to a person. It's no use. Do you think that you can resurrect the dead? Uh, once a person's blood is sucked by a vampire, the vampire's dark mana enters the person's body and the person dies. If a corpse of a person with a weak constitution, we won't be able to handle the dark mana will remain a corpse. Otherwise, the corpse will be reanimated by the dark mana. It's the reality of what you see here. These are dead people reanimated by the dark mana. They're called Dark Disciples. They're entirely different beings from Maxwell. Dark Disciples have no mind of their own. They're, after all, dead. There's no way to turn Dark Disciples back to humans. It's simply because they're dead. And it's not really quite to say that they can't move on their own. They're nothing more than puppets. No way! So I ask you this again. Do you think it's possible to resurrect the dead? It's not possible. Not even a doctor or a master healer can do that. Precisely. The dead cannot be resurrected. No one is capable of doing that. Huh. Are you just going to keep hiding, vampire? Yeah? Come out. I know you're there. <laughs> Damn lowly human. Don't even think of getting cocky just because you spotted me. You... You're the one who turned all these villagers to... Why? Why did you do such a cruel thing? <laughs> what a stupid question. Humans are nothing more than prey to me. They're my toys in which I can play with however I like. You're wrong! <laughs> I'm not wrong. Humans, no, no doubt the things that will eventually have to be cleaned up and discarded. It's annoying how you humans would grieve over the deaths of one or two of your compatriots. Rather, you should all be thankful for me for doing the dirty work of killing these people while getting to keep their precious blood. Hey, you black-clothed guy. What do you think you're looking at? You sure got guts to be looking away from me, the almighty Jackson Burr. I'm asking you where the hell you're looking at. You're really noisy. Shut your trap. What did you say? Are you trying to go against me? Don't forget that your life is in my hands. Do you actually understand the situation you're in? Understand the situation that I'm in? What the hell are you blabbering about, lowly vampire? Why, you? Are you a typical human trying to mock me? A typical human? You were once a human yourself, weren't you? Bullshit. I, Jackson Barr, am a far superior to any human. I am a chosen being who gained the power of darkness while still perverting my self-identity. I am no longer a worthless human who would only grovel on the ground. You, superior to any human? Don't make me laugh. You're but a human, after all. <laughs> shut up, shut up. Shut up, shut up, shut up. I'll show you just how, what I, a being far superior to any human, am made of. I sense the aura of a familiar that's been around for a while now. I can't tell where the familiar is, though. So it is a familiar that specializes in spying. Huh. I'll show you, human. I'll show you a power far beyond any human could have. Typical small fry. I don't have the leisure to play around with it. So this is all you've got after all. How worthless. Gah. Impossible. Why is a human like you so strong? 
Damn it. I'll remember this. Someday I'll be sure to tie you limb from limb. Oh, it can't be. To think I, Jackson Bra, would be taken down. No, no. I don't want to die. I just don't want to vanish just yet. I just got this infinite power. I'm supposed to be eternal. I thought I would become being far superior. A filthy human by obtaining a noble dark manner, but... No, no! Did I make it in time? No. It looks like I didn't quite make it. Um, who are you? Edith. Edith Midwin. I received reports about a vampire being in his village, and I came here as fast as I could, upon request from the Vampire Slayer's Guild. Ah, so you're the, um, famous vampire slayer who's rumored to be extraordinarily skilled in slaying vampires. Lotto. It's cool though, I'm into it. I must apologize. Eh? If only I had come here a little quicker, there would have been lesser casualties. But it looks like the damage has already been done. I truly must apologize. N no! Please don't apologize. After all, it's not easy for you to come here quickly in the middle of the night. Besides, I can't tell you how thankful everyone in the village would be to have a top-notch vampire slayer come to this small village. Thank you for your kind words. So you're the master of the familiar just now, huh? You notice Seeker? Ah, uh, no. I'm sorry. Um, to answer your question, it is as you said. I sent a familiar ahead to keep track of the vampire. I see. Incidentally, I saw your battle with the vampire earlier. It would appear that you are an incredibly skilled swordsman. Can I ask what your name is, if you don't mind? Reviel. Reviel, you say? I don't think I've heard that name before. Given your skills, you ought to be well known, but forgive me for asking. What have you been doing up till now? Uh, um, it is, it's late now, so why don't you rest for the night in the end? In the end. I see what she's, I see what's happening here. She afraid it is moving in on her man. You're right. In that case, I'll inquire more tomorrow. For calling it a night, though. I understand that it would be hard on you to do this as a villager here. But can you help carry the bodies? Yes, I will. We can't just leave them like this at any rate. It would be good if you could help too, Reviel. We have to at least bring these people away from the public eye. Alright guys, that's it for another episode. Of Nocturne Rebirth. It's very badass. I'm definitely enjoying it. I hope you guys are enjoying it too. Like, subscribe, uh, stab that freaking uh, bell button so that way you actually get notified when I make videos. Uh, so, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see y'all in the next one.